Yanni, who is heating things up at Silk Road this morning in Inglewood. Mike, you were talking about an illegal spice. Uh, let's take a closer look there and find out what it is. It looked like a pepper. Floor. Yeah, you know, it's very strange looking spice. There's lots of interesting, unique things here at Silk Road, and this is one of them. This is called tonka beans. Have you heard of these before, Jill? No, I have not. So it's a bean, yeah, they, not a spice. They don't look really appetizing, but I tell you, when you actually open it up, uh, this thing smells heavenly. And it's actually one of the spices we're going to be talking about in just a few moments. Kelsey from Silk Road joining us this morning, and thank you for having us. And this, this place is, is mesmerizing because you have things from all around the world here. They're really fascinating to look at. Yeah, we do. That's part of what we want is to have people excited about spices and to see how exotic and interesting they are. You no, know, I I've got to imagine just looking through some of the stuff here, you might have some issues importing certain products because I'm sure customs probably doesn't even know what some of this stuff is. It's true. Yeah, and we bring stuff in from all over the world. Uh, a lot of it is strange and unusual and people see something like tonka beans on a box and wonder what the heck is that? So, <laughs> some of our things have been opened up and rifled through a little bit, but it's part of the fun. Let's let's talk about tonka beans because we were talking about the holiday season and things like eggnog people are going to be looking for, you know, unique spices to kick up the holidays a little bit. And you're saying tonka beans are a really good thing. What are these? Well, they're sort of a mix between an almond and a vanilla bean. That's how I described them. Did you smell them? I did. And they smell like a super, super sweet vanilla. I was yeah. surprised because they don't look very appetizing. No, but it smells they don't amazing. look like much. They're little wrinkled beans. And they're, you can see they've got like some crystallization, almost a sugar on them. So they've got a bit of a sweetness. They're like amaretto to me. That's what they seem like, like an amaretto almond kind of thing. But yeah, we have little spice graters like this. If you have eggnog, great, your own spice is difference. It's so much fresher and nicer. A little bit like this. Nutmeg is great, but this is a, a nice little change. So tonka beans actually go a long ways. They're, they're pretty expensive. I think a jar like this is about $12. Yeah, they are, but you don't need very much at all. Like right. one of these, that's all I grated. That's all you need for one drink. They, yeah, a little goes a long way. You don't want to overdo it. But right. Now why are these illegal in the States? Well, they have a compound in them, it's called coumarin, and there's some concerns about if you were to ingest like pounds and pounds of these every single day, that there'd be a possibility that it could have some adverse effect. Gotcha. Health Canada has totally cleared it, don't worry, we're completely safe. safe. Yes, I think people are <laughs> A little overzealous, um, but yeah, we've had a lot of people from the states say, "Please, send chefs and things," because they want them. They desperately want to use them. Can't get them, so we're lucky. We can there use them go. here. Tonka beans can be found here. One of the many spices. Another thing some people might like to put on uh, not uh, not not make uh, eggnog is cinnamon, uh, and we're going to talk about cinnamon in a little bit later in the show because what you may not know is most cinnamon that you buy in Calgary, it's not real cinnamon, Jill. Really, learning new things about spices this morning.